Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this video segment I'll continue to build on the body of the PLSQL block. I'll specifically concentrate on writing queries or select statements inside a PLSQL program. First off, here is a query that is written at the SQL prompt. The query reads as select salary from employees where first name equals Lex. The salary of the employee Lex is being retrieved by the query and the value was 17,200. If queries are written at the SQL prompt, their output is displayed in the form of a table. After the output has been displayed, the cycle of waiting for the next SQL statement continues and you are returned back to the SQL prompt. Let's say you want to display the salary of the employee Lex along with a string that reads as the salary of Lex is colon 17,200. You do not want to see the output in the form of the table that queries normally display their output with. You might even want to process the salary further to calculate leave allowances based on salary. If that is what you want to do, you will have to write a program and hold the salary value that was retur returned by the query in such a way that you can reference it multiple times within the program. This is possible if you write the SELECT statement within a PLSQL program. In order to retrieve the salary and hold it in the program so that it can be referenced multiple times, you will need to create memory variables. The memory variable will be populated by the SELECT statement and can be referenced any number of times within the program after that. On the slide, imagine that the salary retrieved by the query is put into a memory variable. After the memory variable has been populated, the contents of the memory variable can be accessed using the DBMS output line statement, which allowed you to display the values of variables with strings in meaningful ways. The syntax of the SELECT statement in a PLSQL block is displayed on this slide. The first SELECT statement reads as SELECT COLUMN NAME INTO MEMORY VARIABLE FROM TABLE NAME FOLLOWED BY AN OPTIONAL WHERE CLAUSE OR ANY OTHER CLAUSES. Notice the INTO MEMORY VARIABLE which is the most important part of this syntax. The into memory variable clause is how the value returned by the query is put into a memory variable. In the second select statement is the syntax to be used when retrieving two columns. The select statement reads as select column name, comma, column name into memory variable, comma, memory variable from table name followed by the optional where clause or any other clauses. The point that I'm trying to bring out with this syntax is that when more than one column is to be retrieved, you would have to create corresponding memory variables for each of the columns. You will list the memory variables in the INTO clause, each memory variable corresponding to the column based on position. The complete program that would have been written to retrieve the salary of the employee Lex and display it on the screen is on this slide. First is the declaration section that declares the variable called vSalary which is of number type. In a program that has a select statement, you would have to declare a variable or variables depending on the columns being retrieved by the query. Here only the salary value is retri retrieved by the query so that for that column a memory variable called vSalary was declared. It is important to note that the variable name must be different from the column name. An error would have been generated if I created the variable called salary for a program that references a salary column in it in the select statement. On this slide is another example. The program is to write a PLSQL block to retrieve 
the salary and department number of the employee whose first name is Lex. The salary and the department ID values are then displayed on the screen with appropriate strings. For the two columns, there are two memory variables being declared called vSalary and vDEPT. In the body of the program is the select statement which is select salary, comma, department ID into vSalary, comma, vDEPT from employees where first name equals Lex. This is then followed by two DBMS output line statements that display the salary and the department ID values with appropriate strings. In this tutorial, I explained the way in which select statements should be written in a PL SQL block. The into clause is mandatory when writing select statements in PL SQL programs so that the values retrieved by the query are held in memory variables. In my next few tutorials, I'll keep building on the body of the program. You'll learn the other types of uh, statements that can be written inside the, inside the body of the program. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Here is a program for you to try based on the HR Schema's employee table. It might be a good idea for you to pause the video for a few minutes and attempt this program. The best way to learn program, programming is to actually write programs. In this program, you want to retrieve the job of the employee whose employee number is 150. After retrieving the job, display the job along with uh, the string. The employee 150 holds the job off followed by the job that was retrieved from the table. The solution to this program is at the end of the video. Here is another program for you to try. Pause the video and attempt this program where you must retrieve the job, email and hire date of the employee whose employee number is 150. The outputs of the program is to display those values retrieved through the strings as shown on the slide. The solution to this program is also at the end of the video segment.